Hey, how's it going, Angry Birds fans? Regan Wilkes Autism Productions here. That's why R W A P. Regan Wilkes 54 N. Today, this is gonna be a special review that I finished watching. That is a spin-off to the My Favorite Childhood Angry Birds tune. So this one, a new review. It's one of the based on from the video game mobile games. So this one is the. Angry Birds Stella, that's right, so that is from 2014, which before the series that has two seasons and new characters that I knew before, that Stella had appeared in a short animation special that was for Angry Birds tunes, like Meet the Flocks. So anyways, so new carrier characters we have, Dahila, Poppy, Luca, and Willow, and the purple character of the Angry Bird is Gale. So she's one of the like the evil queen, but we already know like King Pig is the evil one, that's if I don't mind. So anyway, so let's try to start a review, shall we? Let's begin. Alright, let's begin that the, I like to know about the intro that is like a 20 second, so I kind of love the intro like introducing where the characters are starting with like a main five because Gail was like part of her friends and I really love the intro so much and also like this 3D graphics how the animation starts like instead of the 2D's like the Angry Birds tunes which it was how Stella and her friends trying to go on a journey with her best friend Gail well she's a sleepyhead in the first episode in the beginning when I my thought of it like it was like where it all begins like how it all started to become the queen and the saga begins with King Pig. I meant Minion Pig, sorry, my bad. First part is where Gale has found a crown and a mysterious book, which it was connected with a golden egg, which that was part of the game, you know. And now the pigs has like found their own queen instead of the king. Well, somehow this like different. Meanwhile, like at the campfire with Stella and her friends, well, Gail just look at the reflection and let's go of the rope and like burn the tent like was a huge mistake. Like a bad idea and they got mad at each other because Gail was about to excited because Stella was mad at her about what Gail has did and that is their own place like a treehouse is like where they live well somehow they know what the pigs are up to and the new character we have handsome pig what are you doing here get the heck out of here let's start a review on the character poppy she's kind of like a musician rock star she like music bands and disliking what something that's not working well, because Poppy is like kind of a prankster sometimes and hilarious. Luca is like one of the another blues characters, like the J Blues. Well, he's like a child and sometimes he screams when glass breaks. And sometimes he's like a troublemaker sometimes. And, you know, he's like just a kid. And he's kind of adorable. My point on Willow. She's kind of a beautiful and she's an artist and like one of the half Disney princess and her hat about like hiding her the top part where like her hair is like made out of colors but Willow is kind of beautiful but I really love her character so much and her relationship with a pig artist too like he's kind of an artist too you know like autistic Dahlia is like one of the scientists and the craziness but she has something on her mind about the golden egg, but but she can like teleport and somehow Dahlia like has her mind like reading, but what she was thinking like think Mark think and makes her own ideas like her plans work. Also like Stella's first appearance since 2012 like back to school because last year it was the 10th anniversary, but I did a plush video of it. So, yeah, so, my thoughts about Stella, she's like making bubbles, like her powers, like, her bubbles is like a power spike to blow stuff, you know, and 
But this one is different for Skella, like, she can, like, use speed. Like, somehow, it's like th that didn't happen in the game, like, that was used. Like, she speed up time, like, like, pink lines with lightning strikes, and, like, who knows, like, what Romeo idea did not came up with the idea. Before, before the game was shut down since 2017, like, the Spider-Man Unlimited mobile app I love. I'm not talking about the show, though, so. So anyways, there's just, like, only two seasons only where it all started, like, begin before. How long does it take, like, to finish the game? Like, you know, like, after, like, watching the seasons of Angry Birds Gala, I really love the the spin-off of the Angry Birds Toons. I mean, you know, I watched Angry Birds Toons since, like, 10 years ago in 2013. Well, it's almost a decade ago. So, so anyways, let's just continue. I was really confused how that relationship works with a bird and a pig that doesn't look seem right, and Handsome Pig is, like, kind of like a cringe character. I ever knew, but, uh, I mean, not like, half cringe, but, like, more handsome. I mean, he's like, reminded me of, like, Vega from Street Fighter. He was kind of handsome, too, like, with a mask and a claw. But, yeah, the book is, like, has, like, golden egg, which it was, like, a mystery, like, the Indiana Jones reference. Well, Gale has know how to use golden egg to, like, to turn anything to gold and turn everything to stone. Which is like a nightmare and almost coming to the end what Gale's idea was for how to use the golden egg. Well, that it was learned that was from the second season in which they trying to invite Stella's friend. Before like the final episodes begin like part one to part two continues. My point of my opinion about this final episode where is Stella versus Gale now which somehow she's trying to turn Stella into gold, which it reminds me of like the final episode of DuckTales 1987, the original, but I already finished it, but it was something like Stella's idea who trying to accidentally turn Gale into stone was an uh, accident, but Gale was kind of mad at What do you know? Like, well, that was something. I mean, Somehow, when they thought if she was dead or not. Well, looks like everything's back to normal, but thanks to Stella and her friends. So, they're trying to make the golden egg goodbye. So, this is the last episode of Angry Bird Stella Z. Made that reference to the, like, the next time on Dragon Ball Z. So, anyway, so, kind of my point... I will give this like 8 out of 10, like, like a really good se season and a series that is a spinoff to the Angry Birds tunes, and I really loved it. I really loved like the episodes, how like showing off like love, relations, funny, and action, and kind of more like cinematic. I mean, if it does use cinematic, like the scenes, like with like fight scenes and all that, so, so yeah, I really love Angry Birds Stella, and, so if you guys know, hit the like, favorite, comments down below, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications, and then, I'll see y'all later for more reviews, and, peace out.